In today's lesson, we're going to learn how to insert an image into a web page. As you can see, I have a folder on my desktop named Image Test, which contains a photo of a dog. There it is. And let's add this to a web page. So here's the basic starter file for an HTML page. We've covered the syntax and structure of this file in earlier lessons, so today we're just going to jump right in. First off, let's save this in the same directory as our image. Save it as index.html. So now we should have a folder that has an image and our file. Now for the actual image code. IMG obviously stands for image. Source is going to tell the web browser where to look to find this file. It's all relative to where the HTML file is located. So since they're in the same folder, we just add funny dog JPEG slash close the bracket, save your file, open your file in your web browser, and there it is. Let's add one final touch. In case the image fails to load or in case one of our visitors is visually impaired, we're going to add alt text. So now let's go ahead and save our file and reload our page. And nothing changed because the image is loading successfully. However, let's rename the picture to just blank. So now the web browser won't know where to look to find the file. And we see instead of like a big X or nothing, we still get funny dog because we add that as the alternative text. Now before we call it a wrap, let's do one last thing. Let's rename our image back to funny dog. Let's create a folder inside our image test folder named images. And let's drag our image into that folder just to stay organized. Now how would we link to that image from our HTML file? It's very simple, we just add images in front of the file name and add a forward slash. Save our file, let's refresh it in our web browser, and there it is. To recap, we learned how to insert an image, how to add the alt text, how to keep your, your images organized in folders, and that's it for today's lesson. Thank you very much. Just a quick note at the end here, I do have a website named learnwebcode.com. It's covering the same topics that my YouTube tutorial videos cover. I'm also covering CSS on this website. I thought it might be a valuable resource for some of you. Alright, thank you.